We'll see how Rick Sosabe will fare on this opening day hunt after seeing a buck early in the morning. But it took off before Rick could get a good look at him. Hopefully the rain will hold off. Looks like it's uh, getting a little bit crazy here behind us, but um, we're gonna take our time, be patient, and uh, hopefully some find something that is uh, worthy of taking home, correct? I mean, rain, yeah, but we got a roof on our head. I'm not worried about that. That's gonna yeah. get big in, in daylight. Oh, that's me, man. We can see that one we saw this morning. Get a good look at him. Yeah. At a minimum, come back to camp with more information, but I don't know. I, you know, the afternoon's been better right now. This weather's still kind of weird, especially for the time of year, so yeah. let's just go sit and, and enjoy it again and, and look for deer and, you know, tell some lies. Oh, well, yeah. You know, okay. truth-based lies, but no, have some good time. <laughs> That's right. We'll get yeah, out of here. Should be a good time, man. During breakfast, we were talking. Uh, we definitely knew we were going back to this field, and um, uh, sit in the same spot in hopes that the, the buck that Steve had spotted earlier in the morning would come back. And, um, you know, so we made plans to go in, get into the blind early, and uh, settle in, and, and um, that's exactly what we did. We got in, got comfortable, and uh, a nice breeze picked up. Temperature dropped a little bit, which was really nice. And um, sat and waited for whatever come along. Uh, uh, a lot of does started filtering in, and and uh, and then we had a couple of uh, um, nice little young bucks come up. Uh, there was one that uh, was scraping the trees a little bit, and then there was another uh, uh, younger buck that come in, and they uh, got into a little bit of a, a sparring contest. And you know, it, it took it it took it probably an hour and a half, but everything started settling down. All the animals started getting real comfortable, and uh, which really made me relax because. I knew everything was settled, they were calm, everything uh, would be smooth as long as we didn't make any mistakes. You know, as we were watching these little bucks uh, um, scrape and work around, uh, Steve happened to notice a shadow lurking off in the trees. And I mentioned it to Logan, the camera guy, so you see that, and he, he could see it, then it disappeared, then it showed up, and then he, she appears, and it's, it's a 10, and he's, he's a good deer. Oh, goodness. Ricky, you might want to start to get your gun up a little bit. A shooter's just appeared in view. Now all Rick has to do is wait for his moment. Man, this beautiful 10-point uh, mature buck comes strutting out. Uh, he's strutting out uh, probably, it was more to our left, but I would say somewhere in the area 75 to 100 yards from us. Just grazing a little bit, trying to make friends with some of the does and, and uh, is walking away from us. And you know, my heart is just sinking because I knew that from my experience that the further he got away from us, the bigger chance there was for something to alert everything there that we were there and for us to lose sight of him altogether. Uh, that probably worried me the most. I, I could feel my heart beat in the tips of my fingers. Breath was starting to get really shallow and, and, uh, and that big 10 point turned and, and headed straight back for us. Get ready. Just get your breathing under control. You go ahead and cock the gun when you're ready.
what do you know about that? I know I'm proud of you. That. Oh, my cow, that's a beautiful animal. He is gorgeous. I think that's a deer we saw this morning before we could make him out when it's dark. Yeah. Because I saw on his left side, he kind of crab gloss, but bigger than that. Yeah. Wade was telling us about a tent out here, that it, the, kind of the genetics in this area have been here for a while. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, right? <laughs> we talked about making a good shot on a beautiful animal, man. You just did that. Yeah. You see the deal on that. You know, that's my, that was my biggest concern, was actually making a really good shot, you know. I mean, I feel like that's super important. And, and, uh, oh, it is. And my body is just quivering. That's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. You insane. never want that to go away. You never want that to go away. <laughs> you know, I don't think I could stand up right now if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> my legs are, are, oh man, it's in, absolutely incredible. It's just pure elation. You know, you, you, one thing you want to do, and I, I always strive to do, is make an accurate shot. I never want to wound an animal. Um, I'm a big boy, so tracking them's not in my favor either. But um, uh, I'm just blessed that I was able to make a good shot and, and, uh, and things went well. You know, we finally get out and stand up and you get a little bit better picture when you get a little bit higher. We get a little bit closer and I see him laying there and I'm like, man, it's, it's just getting better and better every time, you know, and, and every footstep you'd made, um, it was just even more incredible. And it was kind of surreal, you know, you, you, you see those things. And uh, I've watched a lot of uh, television shows and, and uh, you know, you don't really understand how it feels until you walk up and see it for yourself. And I absolutely could not believe it. Oh, goodness, son. And as soon as he walked into view, I mean, I, it's absolutely uh, incredible what your body does when you're when you're reacting, right? And uh, man, my heart felt like it was beating out of its chest, out of my chest, and and uh, it's hard to describe because in my heart I kind of like felt like this one would be the one for me. I just felt like it was going to be uh, the deer. And uh, as soon as this big boy turned around and started heading back towards us oh my lord it was I was having to tell myself to breathe you know it was just like take a deep breath Ricky you, you got to grab a hold of yourself my feet were shaking my hands were shaking um, but you know uh, just a good day in Texas we've we've um, done what we set out to do and and man I just thank the Lord for for a beautiful animal like this to come walking into my come walking into my life. Is loading that thing up in the bike and come back to camp and, and have him, you know, watch him share it with everybody else that's here. Um, and watch everybody else be so excited for him because again, Rick's a good guy and everybody want, you really want people like that. The people that are coming in and trying to do it the right way, you want them to succeed and, and, and experience success. I think uh, he's in love with Texas now. He's, he, he told me he, he likes to say Georgia is uh, God's country, but he can tell that God definitely had something to do with Texas as well. So. You know, you know, love, God love Ricky. Um, I was so glad to be able to, to experience that with him, share it with him. Um, again, didn't do much, didn't have much of a hand in it, but to be there was special for me. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna count myself lucky to have been a part of it.